everybody, Mike Pfeiffer with Pfeiffer Hobby Supply. Uh, today I'm going to show you what I've gotten done down here at the engine house. I uh, hope it meets with your approval. And uh, just for those of you who are not into cars, I'm going to give you an update on the Cadillac and a little tiny update on the Mustang. Uh, they'll just be tiny, but just informational. Um, so, with that being said, since I don't have much down here, let's get going. Okay, uh, not a whole lot to report, but um, I mean, I guess, I mean, to me it seems like not much to report, but as you can see, I got landscaping in over here and got some stuff put over there. Uh, this is, uh, I'm using it as a caboose track right now. <clears throat> I think this is probably the way I'm going to continue to use it. Uh, a track for waiting or or already serviced engines that they will probably go over there um, and as you guys know we have the service track here with the pit uh, my switching locomotives are just resting right there and my uh, my locomotives ready to go out on the line are parked over here right at the moment um, I realized when I put this stuff out here oh by the way and as you can see, I've got scenery all the way around the side here. Let me swing you around just a little bit. So you can see I put in some trees on this side of the uh, trestle and around behind the engine house. And just one little tree over there by the uh, tunnel portal. Um, that being said, I got the parking lot in over here on the right side. I've got a ramp going up onto the asphalt there on uh, right here in the middle. And you can see that I have my road crossings in and I have some roads, uh, asphalt roads put in there with tar paper. Um, one thing I will show you, I hope, uh, and one thing you can see is right here I have a little triangle that I haven't cut yet. I have, however, made a small template out of this piece of paper that I intend to cut uh, that out and get that done today, hopefully. <clears throat> then I can touch up along the two roads there. I can do some more scenery work in here, which I don't know what I'm going to put in here. Still haven't figured out where to put the sanding facility or the uh, fuel uh, station. Not really sure about that. Uh, the parking lot on the right hand side is going to be employee parking. Uh, I haven't put any vehicles out there yet, but there will be some Santa Fe maintenance vehicles and so forth parked in there. Uh, there will be some crossing signs on each side of those three tracks or four tracks there. Um, aside from that, that's pretty much it. Let me, uh, let me turn off some lights so you can see what it looks like. I don't have any street lights out there yet. I do intend to put some yard lights out there. Uh, I have some real fancy ones that I'm converting from bulbs to LEDs, and when I get that done, I intend on putting one or two of those in there, as well as a couple of light poles, just basic light poles. But let's see what this looks like. Okay, here you can see kind of inside of the building. I'm not at a very low angle here, but you can see the outside lights as well as the lights in the building. You can see the lights on the outside of the building over here, the two locomotives that are sitting there, and my outbound locomotives there. Uh, once I get some yard lights in here, uh, it's going to increase the dramatic effect exponentially. But let me back back out here and give you a couple more thoughts about this. Okay, you see what I have done. Uh, let's get into what I have not done. Uh, I, as you can see, I put ballast in here. I've got ballast in the uh, in the frog over here, and some ballast I haven't cleaned out. I haven't gone through and made sure all the switch machines work uh, properly. Um, obviously the one over here is working because I've got lights on the locomotive and these are all uh, uh, being fed by the uh, turnout so 
um, they're selective routed and obviously it, it has turned power onto that track. Uh, the light is off on the other locomotives over here. So anyway, uh, I've just got some cleanup work to do there. I still haven't figured out where the fueling depots go. Uh, I am going to reach over here real fast and put this in your shot. I've actually given some thought to that. Uh, if I do that, it's obvious I'm going to have to move the fueling stuff down this way somewhere. Or, or the sanding. One or the other I'm going to have to move. Uh, they can be down here closer to the yard. It's not really a big deal. And it may be better that way. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, and work from there. You can see that I have my maintenance away stuff back on the tracks over here on the left. Uh, I'm not, let me swing this around just a little bit here. I'm not real positive about this tower staying here. This tower may be moved down to the other end uh, or somewhere. I'm not sure. We need one, but I don't know exactly if that's where it's going to be. Uh, Still working on it idea-wise, obviously. Uh, but, all in all, uh, oh, I will, I'll say one more thing, too. When I put in this little road, I had to break out my little uh, vibrating Dremel saw and cut my fascia right here so I could get this road out. Haven't touched that up, haven't touched the fascia up, haven't really done the landscaping down in this uh, groove or cut right here, and I haven't done any landscaping in this little area right in here which I don't intend to do until I come up with a plan. But uh, as you can see, it uh, it's kind of coming together. Um, I'm thinking maybe fuel facilities and stuff might be good over in here. Not really positive about that because that means i got to take locomotives out of the engine facility, run them down into the yard, back them across the two turnouts, and back them over here to get fuel. But I guess that's not a big deal. I mean, you got to do what you got to do when you live in a rugged mountain, mountain territory and you only have so much room. So that may be what we do. I'm just not sure. Uh, but I am sure about what I've got there so far. So, let's see. I only have one other small thing to show you. I think I may have showed it to you, but if I do, you're just going to have to chalk it up to me forgetting and repeating myself. Okay, right in here, I have this multitude of little small shack type buildings. Not exactly sure what I want to do here, but one thing I am pretty sure of is that the power substation is going to go there. This little building that belongs to it may go on the other side, it may not. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do here, as always. That's why nothing has gotten done here. But uh, I've got the, all these several little buildings here that I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with. I obviously haven't done any more on the housing area back there, which also needs to be completed because I don't want to be leaning over all this stuff. But anyway, as far as layout things, I think that's all I can tell you right now. I will update you a little more here after this. I forgot to tell you guys that um, I just got a Model Railroad News and oh, it's been a week ago or so but I saw in there that Broadway Limited is coming out with this and I'm about ready to pee my pants because I've been looking for those ever since I started modeling Santa Fe so I will definitely buy be buying a couple of them but I haven't seen them on their website but uh, been looking for these for a long time. Just thought I'd throw this in there. Okay, the one little update that I had for you uh, as a sidebar to this uh, video today on my layout is uh, two, two weeks ago we went out to our club and we had no electricity at the fairgrounds in our building. Uh, further investigation showed that we didn't have any power on anything at the fairgrounds. 
Um, we got a hold of the maintenance guy out there, or I did, about a week ago. I had to go out there and empty out our refrigerator because we had stuff in there that could spoil. Not anything major or stinky, but I, I threw it out. Cleaned out the refrigerator. Um, it turns out, when I talked to the maintenance guy out there, that uh, we had a real bad rainstorm and a lot of lightning and stuff. And um, maybe you heard about it on the national news. We had some flooding on Highway 70 out here going to White Sands. Closed Highway 70 with about four feet of mud, which is about eight lane. Well, it's a it's a it's a four lane wide road with about a, another four lane median, and it covered the whole thing in four feet of dirt and rock. Uh, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. <clears throat> During that storm, uh, he happened to be out there working, and uh, apparently something out there got hit by lightning, and something happened to the building next door to ours in that uh, it developed a short uh, in the incoming power to the building and was uh, had about a five foot arc from the power line to the wooden pole that goes into the building actually goes through the roof of the building in all reality uh, don't ask me how that stuff happens but anyway uh, and apparently there were sparks flying everywhere, embers laying everywhere, and he was afraid that the building was going to catch fire. Uh, he made a call. They told him to go out to the front of the fairgrounds and turn the entire power off out there. <clears throat> as slow as they are, it will probably be some time before they... I think the decision has been made to just disconnect the power to that building, uh, have the power company out and power company come out and just remove the wire from the feed wire uh, to that building. And if they do that, we can get electricity back soon. But in the meantime, we haven't been able to meet. Uh, we have a meeting this Saturday, and everybody's wimping out on us, and it may just be a couple, two or three of us uh, meeting at a place called Corner Bakery. But that being said, that's been what's been going on at the club. Now I'm going to give you an update on the Cadillac and a little teeny update on the Mustang. I won't bore you to death. I promise. So here we go. Okay, update on the Cadillac. Um, what I want to tell you is, we haven't had one ounce of trouble with it. She enjoys it, I enjoy it, runs like a top, um, and that's it on the Cadillac. Okay, here's the update on the Mustang. I may or may not have told you, but I took off the, uh, I put the stock intake manifold back on stock throttle body uh, because I couldn't get the tune right from the people I had bought the tune from. Well, I got a tune from a, from a, a company called Bren Speed, and I bought a new one. Like an idiot, I sold the other one, sold the other 62 millimeter throttle body. Now I bought a new one, uh, the second one, racing intake and the second throttle body. Put it back on, put the Bren Speed tune back in, and she runs like a top. I'm not putting the plastic uh, fuel rail covers and stuff back on because every time I have to work on this car, they're a pain in the butt to get off. Uh, but anyway, that's the scoop of me being an idiot on the Mustang, and uh, I'm looking forward to. We have a cars and coffee coming up, not this weekend, but the following weekend, 24th, and it's going to be at the Chevrolet dealer. And uh, I look forward to going there because I'm assuming there'll be a lot of cars providing it doesn't rain. Uh, anyway, that's the update on the Mustang, and I think that's probably about it for today, gang. Oh, one more thing I was going to tell you. Uh, the Toyota, I haven't talked about the Toyota too much. It's been running well. It needs some new tires on it. The tires are getting very weather-checked. And the reason I'm telling you this is because... Um, next year's uh, N-Scale convention should be in Nashville. And if it is, we have decided not to fly. We have decided to take this and that and the dogs. So we're going to take extra days. We're going to be uh, unavailable for a little longer time on the convention next year. But we hope to make a, a little more of a vacation out of it and enjoy it a little more than trying to deal with these airline flights. But thanks for watching today, guys. Okay, everybody, hope you enjoyed video update 102. And as usual, 
Thanks for watching!